Hello and welcome to Art and Animation's Introduction to Adobe Animate. In this tutorial we are going to animate a scooter running forward and the background being panned in the opposite direction. Let's get started. Let's work on the movements of the scooter first. We add frames to frame 90 by right clicking and selecting insert frames from the menu. We can also do this by using the F5 key. We enter the scooter symbol by double clicking it. We have the character, the scooter and the wheels put on separate layers already. Please remember that this should be part of our rig. Please don't forget to do this when you're rigging the entire scene. We select frame 30 and press F5 to add frames. We're adding only 30 frames here because this timeline will continue in a loop in the main timeline outside the symbol. We're not going to add any animation to our character now because we're going to cover character animation in several other courses later. We lock all the layers except the front wheel layer. We select any random frames from the front wheel layer, right click on them and select motion tween from the menu. We select the last frame on the front wheel layer and go to tweening in the properties tab and select the rotation option from the drop down menu. We choose clockwise rotation. We can see our wheel rotating. We do the same for the wheel at the back. We now add a keyframe on the scooter and character layers on frame 3 using F6. We use the arrow keys to slightly move our character and scooter upwards. We now select the first key of both the layers and holding down the ALT key, we copy them on to frame 5. We are going to repeat the same process till frame 30. Please follow the video carefully. We now exit the symbol and press the enter key to look at our animation. We double click to enter the background symbol and keep double clicking till we reach the symbol where all the layers are separate. We insert frames till frame 30 on all the layers using F5. We enter the windmill symbol which has two layers in it. Layer 1 has the propeller and layer 2 has the pole. We increase the frames here till frame 30 using F5. We select random frames on layer 1 and right click and select create motion tween from the menu. We add rotation here in the same way we've done for the wheel. We exit the symbol and play our animation here. We can see that all our windmills are rotating. This is because all the symbols are the same. Any change we make in one symbol is automatically implemented in all of them. We need to add some variation to our animation. Now if we observe carefully, the windmills at the back rotate much slower than the windmills at the front. We increase the frames till frame 90 here using F5. We select the windmill symbol, right click on it and select duplicate symbol from the menu. We name it windmill1 and double click to enter the symbol. We can see our original windmill animation here. We right click and remove motion tween and increase frames till frame 45 using F5. We then add motion tween and add rotation to the windmill. We can tweak the frame count in every windmill symbol. We do this to all the windmill symbols in our background. This is to give different speeds to the symbols far away from us. We've completed the animation for all the windmill symbols now. We now exit the symbol and we can see our windmill rotating in different speeds. We are now going to do the last part of the tutorial which is panning the background. We enter the background symbol and copy the symbol using Ctrl C and we paste it in place using Ctrl Shift V. We move the newly pasted background to the left side using the arrow keys. Please see the video for how we position it. 
We right click, go to arrange and click on send backward. Please see the video for this. We can now see that there's a bus stop on the copied symbol and we need to delete it only from the copied symbol. We'll have to duplicate the symbol before deleting it so the original symbol will not be affected. We right click and duplicate the symbol and double click to enter it and delete the bus stop. We can also move the windmills so that it won't look the same. We can also scale up or scale down the symbols using the scale and rotate tool for which the shortcut is Ctrl Alt S. After we've done all the adjustments, we select both the background symbols and press F8 to convert them into symbols again. We call it main BG1. We add a keyframe on frame 90 using F6. On this keyframe, we move our background to the right side using the arrow keys as seen in the video. We select random frames in between, right click and select create classic tween from the menu. We exit the symbol by clicking on the scene 1 tab and press ctrl enter to see our final animation. Hope you found this tutorial helpful, thanks for watching.